pandemic of sins, prevention of epidemics, social distancing and self-quarantine. Reverend Dr. Holly Namokyun, Pastor, United Methodist Church, Manoa Ministry. Translator, Mrs. Irene Park. Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. I would like to express my special thanks to my family for always praying and cooperating with my ministry. Uh, thank you again. I love you. I had a dream last night. Five people were working together in the office, and one person was ill with fever, a symptom of COVID-19. Everyone was concerned about that person and worried about the possible contagion. They started distancing themselves in fear of COVID-19. Even though everyone avoided any contact with the patient, all of them ended up contracting the disease. After I woke up, I pondered about the dream for a long time. The powerful epidemic reminded me of the virus of sins. Even though the virus of sins also reached the level of pandemic, nobody worries about it and not even take any preventive measures such as wearing a mask. So I asked God, is there any way to avoid the virus of sins? We cannot remove the spiritual virus by washing hands and feet and brushing teeth. The impact of the virus of sins is definitely more horrendous. Is there a way to prevent it? He showed the way and said it is to live like a Nazarene. As a Nazarene enters the road of reverence to pursue holiness, it is to self-quarantine away from sins. How am I supposed to do it? The most proactive way is to acquire increased spiritual immunity to keep from those contaminations, and that immunity is holiness. Holiness is destroyed by what you see, what you say, what you hear, and sex life. Sins come through these four passages, and it is the same with righteousness. Sins are transmitted and the spirit is transferred through sexual intercourse. For a married couple, it is not enough for one person to lead a life of faith because the dominant spirit is transferred to physical union. Therefore, unless both husband and wife live holy through faith, they may indirectly invite the other spirit in sins. The result is the free move of the spirits to their personal union. The main reason for pandemic of sins is disorderly sex life. It is also transmitted through what you see and what you hear. I have once visited a movie producer's house for land work. As we were worshiping, the Lord opened a vision for me. Movie audience had their mouth open toward the ceiling and drinking excremental water. It meant that Hollywood movies are like filthy sewage. Since only this kind of movies become box office hits, whereas righteous movies fail, most producers fix their eyes in these movies. After we finished land work, we visited the studio where they had produced masterpieces such as Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur. Now it was quiet and still because they all failed and moved to another city. Sexual sins is more horrible than COVID-19. It's covering the whole earth. And because of that reason, homosexuality, adultery, pornography, etc. constitutes the foundation of this world the damage which is transmitted through the eyes, they are spreading every second, and nobody is aware that they are drinking excremental water. Christian movies ought to be produced, but the moment it is made, Satan attacks the producer or the director. That is why there is no brave person to dare into this horrifying spiritual warfare. He also said that all spiritual sins move through hearing and speaking. And since sin is of community by nature, there is no way to stop the speed of transmitting sins compared to righteousness. As Eve offered the fruit of the tree of knowledge to Adam, they get contaminated by offering sins to one another. And since everybody is doing it, they all live with numbness to sins. This happened through generations. Children watching their parents' insensitivity to sins. They first learn disobedience to God's word and grow up breathing the fullness of sins in their homes. I never knew there was such a thing as heavenly newsroom. I'm overwhelmed and in awe that you have entrusted this mission to me. Who am I that I may convey your pure holy news? I wept as I prayed. Being used by the Lord in spite of my shortcomings and sins is the most grateful experience. If there is Satan's conspiracy theory, would not there be my providence? 
and would not it be you people to convey the message? Then, Lord, until when will you let me pass on your providence and manage the heavenly newsroom? As I told you before, it is while you live a holy life like a Nazarene. As long as your eyes do not sin, not put any garbage in your head, fill it up with my word, and spend one hour in the closet to pray vigilantly, then the heavenly news will be universal. I had led a holy life for tens of years, but somewhere it crumbled down. After I had a stroke and became weaker, my life slacked and started watching the news and K-dramas. Even though the Lord has told me, as Samson's strength comes out from his hair, your power comes from holy eyes. Recently, I have changed everything, what I listen, say, and watch to heavenly things. Some people used to ask me, what kind of fun do you have, Pastor? People do not understand the deep pleasure which comes from enjoying the holy life. They only think of worldly fun. Nobody will understand the immeasurable joy which comes from the communion with the Lord. Unfortunately, many will fall into the worldly enticement even before they can taste the existence of another level of joy and pleasure. Holy life gives me the most joy. Since it pleases the Lord, I am happy as well. He said, when anointing is upon you, Neither Satan nor sin can come into you because they will skid before they can come in. Do you know why they put oil on sheep? It is to protect them from pests. Do you know why they use frankincense in the temple? It is because gadflies dislike the scent. Likewise, anointing with oil and putting on aroma naturally prevents sins to come in. Immerse yourself into anointing so that sins may avoid you. God always gave me a message to preach for the Menua school through a dream or show the church situation and the sermon to give before a revival meeting. Today, the Lord showed me a dream to help us to realize the severity of pandemic of sins, as well as enlighten us about the impact of terrifying sins, which is more severe than COVID-19. Make sure you avoid sins. If you cannot overcome with immunity, holiness, avoid it. Self-quarantine and keep social distancing, preventive measures. These include addictions, drugs, pornography, alcohol, cigarettes, dirty stories, criticism, talking behind one's back, etc. They all lead to all kinds of sins. If you are not healthy, snacks catch your attention. If you are healthy, you'll notice fresh foods with full of nutrients. The more holy you are, the more sins you can identify. If you cannot recognize sins, it is because you are in it. Therefore, become a Nazarene and begin self-quarantine. Lord, teach us the way to protect ourselves from sins with more sensitivity as well as increase our spiritual immune system. Help us to keep our family holy in order to protect our children from contamination and provide the help of the Holy Spirit for us to keep vigilant like a Nazarene. Without your help, there is no way for us to survive in this pandemic of sin. Anoint us so that sins may skid from us and allow your aroma on us to keep sins far from us. We increase our spiritual immune system with fresh heavenly food today. Please help us. Lead us to immerse ourselves in your immeasurable anointing. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You can order these three books from Amazon Kindle, 365 Prayers of Blessing for Your Children, Theory and Praxis of Landwork, The Lord's Visitation for 14 Days. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an Executive Director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for ministers. Now she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sun Bum Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. In Hebrew, menowa is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term menowa as a noun. 
please hit that subscribe button for more videos. And thank you for watching this video.